this is my updated everyday makeup look if you're interested how i do this makeup look so please keep on watching after my morning skincare routine i always start with a sunscreen so i've been loving this sunblock from a pew it's very light and hydrating and followed by a primer so i've been using the cm primer and sometimes the nyx born to glow it really gives me glow from within look and then i use my cushion foundation from pony effect so this is how i apply it i usually apply a thin layer first i decided to do a voiceover instead since the video will be too long so that's why you're gonna see me talking in some parts after my cushion i apply a concealer from the same this is really good concealer it's really popular in korea and now i know why so i apply it where my redness or darkness are and where i want to highlight my face and using the puff from my cushion foundation i blend it out As you can see, it really helps to cover the redness in some areas of my face. Don't forget your neck and ears so everything will match. But my acne scars and my pimple that day is hard to cover so I included another step and using my Pony Effect Concealer to add more coverage in those areas. I normally don't do these steps but I just had this really dark acne scarring so that's why I needed to cover more and add more step. And now I will contour my face using this Makeup Forever product. So first I will contour my nose. And then I will blend it out so it does not look so dark. And then I will highlight my nose mixing the two highlighters from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And then I will contour further my face. So first the cheekbone to the forehead and also my chin area. I really love contouring my face since it gives the illusion of a smaller face and I just like how my face looks if I contour it. And then I use a brow gel to shape my eyebrows and give volume to the areas that has no, not so much hair. This is how it looks when applied on both eyebrows. And then I will do my eye makeup so I'm using the tar Tartelette matte eyeshadow palette so first i apply this shade over my lid as a base it also sets the cushion foundation and a concealer around my eye area so this is how it looks after applied on both eyes and then i will apply this shade on the lower part of my eyelid and also on the outer corner of my eyes And then I blend it out when I apply too much. And I reapply the same shade if I wanted it to be more darker. But if I really don't have time, I only use the base shade and it's okay for me. And then I blend it again till I'm happy how it looks. Using the last shade, I will apply it in a V-shaped form. So this is how it looks after and then I will continue blending when I feel like it still needs to be blended. For my lower lash line, I apply the base color all over my lash line. And for the outer half of my lower lash line, I will apply the second shade and this is how it looks after. So after my eye makeup, I go back to my eyebrows since the brow gel is dried up already and then I will line my eyebrows and make a straight shape.
kind of eyebrows and using a spoolie I blend it out I only line the areas where there's not so much hair especially the front part and the, the end side of my brows and I'll try to make a pointed shape on that part and now I will tightline my upper lash line so I've been doing this recently since I love how my eyes look if I apply it like this it also makes my eyelashes look thicker if you compare it now and this is how it looks after so now I will curl my eyelashes using my Shu Umra eyelash curler I first curl the lash part nearest to my lash line and then the middle part and then the highest part my college friend taught me that technique before and I've been doing it ever since but I recently learned that I should tilt it like that to have a better curl so I've been doing that also as my last step now you see my lashes are really curled up and now it's time to apply the mascara so I've been using this mascara from Japan and I really love this it really holds up the curl and gives volume because before mascaras tend to weigh my lashes down so after a few minutes they're already straight but this it stays like this all day and I don't need to dip it back anymore I just use this for two layers and also for my lower lash line and it's enough and now for the blush I'm using a tart blush in the shade exposed and needs to be reapplied a lot more than the other blush that I have I also apply it across my nose bridge So to cover my acne scars and pimples, I learned this technique from Desi Perkins. So I use a MAC Studio Fix foundation and then apply it over the scars and the pimple. But this one is really hard to cover since it's so dark no matter how uh, much I layer it. And I will apply on top of that the blush that I used. So I tried to cover it again with a Studio Fix foundation but it really, you can really still see through the acne scar but the other side it's easy to cover than the other side since it's too huge and too dark. Normally now I will highlight but I skip this step nowadays so if ever I will highlight I will highlight with this directions so the brow bone the high point of the cheekbone and above the eyebrows now I will apply a lipstick that will complement this look so I normally use mer or any shades of pink kind of lipstick and so this is the finished look so that's it, so I hope you enjoyed and learned a bit from my tutorial, so thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one, bye!